BBC Television presents... Hancock. Sid, Sid, I've just had a letter from ITV. Read this, read this. What is it now? You've brought some in on the Teleshop channel. Or they've sent some audience tickets for loose women again, dressed to Antonio Hancock. <laughs> no, nothing like that, Sid. I'm truly gobsmacked. Amazed, in fact. They want me to host Ant and Dick's Saturday Night Takeaway. They need a replacement right away. It says emergency. Please reply. Civil play. <laughs> Very nice. Well, good luck to you. Anyway, I thought Ant and Dick are a double act. Don't worry, Sid. They want you as well. It couldn't be better. Here it is in writing. Italics. P.S. If you can get Sid James as well, it would be very nice. <laughs> it would be very nice. So I'm just an afterthought. A postscript to your majesty. I don't know. I'll think about it. I might ask my agent, but I'm very busy. No, 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 this is it. It means we've made it. The new Ant and Dec, eh? It's a giant step up. A giant leap for Hancock and James. We can put second-rate situation comedy and low-budget films behind us. It's all glamour from here on in. Dancing girls and nightclubs. Ah, uh, I'm not doing it. You can't let me down, Sid. You're my wingman. My BFF. My sidekick. Where I go, you go, and that's it. Half a league, half a league onwards. Into the valley, rode to 600, and so did Tony Hancock and Sid James. <laughs> no, and that's final. I'm not playing second fiddle to no one. You can cut out all that Hancock and James nonsense. No, oh, don't be like that, Sid. Don't go all sulky on me. I'm sorry you didn't get a letter, but I'll make it up to you. <laughs> And I'm not sulking. I don't want a flaming letter from the ITV. And how on earth do you intend to make it up to me? Well, we'll call it Sid and Tony's Saturday night takeaway for a start. I was going with Tony and Sid because it's a bit racier. But if you're being difficult, I mean, if you like it, we'll have it the other way round. Although it's not as good. All right, how much? <laughs> Now you're talking, I've got your interest. That's it, good old Sid, straight to the nitty gritty. It could be millions. Are you on the rich list yet, Sid? You're joking, aren't you? I haven't even got on the poor list yet. <laughs> well, according to the paper, Ant and Dec are 18th in the entertainment rich list. They're worth a cool 50 million. That's a number with six zeros, mate. <laughs> yes, I know what a million is, and I'm used to earning the zeros bit. Well, what are we worth at the moment? Right, I'll have a bit of a recce. There's your betting office, my house, the car, the antiques. Antiques? Yes, the heirlooms me auntie left me. Great Aunt Elizabeth Hancock III. <laughs> well, where are they then? Up in the attic, Sid. I haven't unpacked them, but I've been assured they're worth a small fortune. Attic, you say? Oh. What do you mean, oh, Sid? I've got a nasty feeling about this. <laughs> So what did you spend it on then? Tell me before I slush you. Well, I had to put cash down for the betting office. I was going to pay you back. <laughs> you will. Every penny. So that's my betting office, my house, my car and the caravan. Why are you shaking your head? Not that as well. If it's not nailed down, you'll steal it, won't you? <laughs> So I make that £300,000. That puts us, let me see. Oh, um, yeah, so equal 300,000th on the list. <laughs> equal with who? Loads of people. Let me pick someone out. There's Sam Nixon and Mark Rhodes to start with. Who are they when they're at home? I don't honestly know, but they call themselves the Primark Ant and Deck. There's Honey G, she's there, and cuddles the juggling chimp. <laughs> So, if we want to start climbing out of 300,000th position and up the rich list, then we need to host Ant and Dec's Saturday Night Takeaway. Is that it? That's it in a nutshell, Sid, old chap. We've been chosen because we're versatile and witty entertainers. It's recognition at last for years of service, what we've both been waiting for. And to put the cherry on the cake, we're good looking. Or at least I am. You know that's insulting, don't you? Yes, that's what the bathroom mirror said last time you looked at it, Sid. That's insulting too. Mm, that's insulting. 
<laughs> it's our quick repartee that they're after, Sid. The one-liners, the bandinages. Yeah, and you'll be wearing the bandinages if you're not careful. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm so excited, Sid. Let's ring Auntie and Kenneth and tell them the good news. Oh, boys, wonderful news. So you're the new improved Ant and Deck, are you? Replacing them on Saturday Night Live. How wonderful. I can just see you both in bow ties and spangly sequins. <laughs> yeah, dressed up like a couple of Charlies. I'm not doing it, you know. You'll end up standing in front of me when the cameras are on us. You'll have to show. I'll just be a straight man. They're yeah, looking for glamour, Sid. I will add that touch of glamour to the show after all. The viewers will naturally want to see more of me. They're looking for something better. A step forward, you know. Not a return to the bad old days of Butter Grove and 80s TV. Oh, look, you two are living in cloud cuckoo land. Especially him. He'll be no good. You're fighting already. You're like Tom and Jerry, Kermit and Miss Piggy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's Miss, Miss Piggy. Piggy. <laughs> Though, having said that, I would like to declare a smidgen of interest. I wouldn't mind a go. I'll do a turn. I bet the money ain't bad. Pay for me parking with suppositories, I suppose. <laughs> no no shots. Shot. <laughs> Oh, go on. Things are a bit slack at the moment. I haven't been able to get it up recently. <laughs> oh, Kenneth, don't you think that's a bit rude? Don't forget there are ladies present. Oh, no, no. Oh, don't misquote me. Oh, they were always doing it in the press. In the window, stuff and nonsense. It goes in one in the window and out the other. I wouldn't know one if it crept up me. What's it? No, I mean, we haven't been able to get it up recently. The old body. I can't get me body up in the morning. <laughs> And I noticed there were ladies present, Eddie. Perhaps you'll introduce me. Oh, do shut up, Ken. I've been thinking, Tony. I could replace Scarlet Moffat. She's gorgeous. Yeah, I know. That's why we're not replacing her, Eddie. <laughs> so you're actually saying I'm not gorgeous, Sid? And I've known you all these years. Think of what we've been through. That's really hurtful. I may not be as young as Scarlet, but she doesn't have my stage presence. There, there, Attie. Don't listen to Sid. Of course we want you. You can replace that Stephen fellow who does the magic tricks. Stephen Malhern, Attie. You can replace that geezer. No, it's not Stephen Malhern. This one wears a fez and goes just like that. <laughs> That's Tommy Cooper. He's not on Anton Deck. I'm not going to replace either of them. I'm a woman. I am not Tommy Cooper. I don't know, Attie. I used to quite like Tommy Cooper. What's one of these? A dead one of those. Uh -huh. Oh, you've got me thinking now. I could do Stephen Mullen. I could learn magic. Call me that difficult if you can do it. I'll make Sid disappear. That'll cheer you up, Tony. <laughs> and turn out here to Debbie McGee. You're not going anywhere near me with any props, Williams. <laughs> what about the one where they stick long knives in your back? Oh, that reminds me of Van Gogh's half hour, that does. And they're Charles Altry. Oh, on the carryouts. <laughs> yes, yes, you could do your catchphrases. It's an ideal setting for you, Saturday night takeaway. Light, easy going entertainment for the masses. Right up your alley, Ken. Stop messing about. <laughs> What do you mean right up my alley? Oh, I'm not a tart. I'm a Shakespearean actor. I played the Dauphin in Bernard Shaw, St. Joan in the West End, I'll have you know. That's not Shakespeare, Kenneth. There's no dolphins in Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, it's all right, love. I'm just testing. I thought you might not know that one. What was your background? The great Bernard Shaw. Oh, he wanted me to do Citizen Kane, you know. And why didn't you? He's a footballer, isn't he? Tottenham, great right foot. You'd have looked good in the shorts. <laughs> oh, leave the jokes to me, Uncle. I'm the funny one. That's why you need me. And I could move out of my little flat and into something a bit more capacious. I need to spread me wings and get the recognition I deserve. All right, Tweety Pie. We'll think about it. We'll probably hold auditions nearer the time. Audition, Sid? Why do we need to do auditions? There'll probably be stiff competition at when they find out what we're going to do. This is the big time. There'll be hangers on, of course, when we're stars. You'll have to audition to be our friends, you know. Friends? Oh, you've ever known my stiffs. Archie Andrews, for one. Archie Andrews was not a friend. He's a ventriloquist dummy, as you well know. <laughs> oh, ain't that funny? You said that without moving your lips. <laughs> Yes, through clenched teeth. Well, if you're not going to share your success with your old friends, we'll be off. Oh, look, it's a letter addressed to Mr. Sidney James and Tony Hancock. I'll read it. 
I hope you both have had time to consider our offer of a part in Saturday Night Takeaway. I will take the opportunity to fill you in with a bit of detail. It's going to be a bit of a skip on the takeaway bit. We would like you to play the parts of two owners of a cafe, which will be frequented by Anton Deck at the beginning and end. I thought you said... <coughs> I think you said. I think that would be enough of that. Hey, you're not replacing any dick at all, are you? Playing a couple of silly old burger flippers in a cafe. Which one of you squirts tomato sauce all over the other one? <laughs> Slapstick. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't really seem to be my sort of thing, Tony. I think you've got your wires crossed, don't you? This is ridiculous. We are a top double act. They can't expect us to do a five-minute frolic as a couple of idiots. Oh, well, it looks as if Sam Nixon and Mark Rhodes are a Primark and and Deck, and we're a wimpy Sid and Tony. <laughs> <laughs>